Out here at the range today with my Mossberg 590A1 short barreled shotgun. It's got a 14 inch barrel, iron sights, a pretty standard setup there. Now shotguns have been growing less and less popular uh, these days when it comes to being utilized as uh, defensive weapons. Uh, but they're still very useful tools and they have a lot to offer and there's a lot of reasons why you might want to choose a, a shotgun for defensive purposes. Uh, home defense is a great option for them because you're not dealing with very uh, long distances. Uh, so typically 25 yards and in or so. Uh, and in that distance, typically your shotgun can be very predictable with a uh, double out buckshot or whatever ammunition you uh, decide to use. So as a general rule of thumb, nine shot double out buckshot spreads at about one inch per yard. So at about 25 yards, you're talking 25 inches of spread, but that's based on an 18.5 inch barrel. Uh, and that's not gonna be the same for all shotguns, that's a general rule. So you gotta figure out what ammunition you're gonna be using and go and test it yourself so you can uh, really be able to predict that spread pattern because depending on uh, the distance in which you're engaging threats, you're gonna wanna know uh, what that is uh, because you don't want stray rounds flying off and ending up who knows where. So um, the good thing about shotguns is you have a uh, ammunition selection. So if you are engaging threats outside of that safe distance with buckshot, you can always uh, switch to a slug and utilize that as well. Now at the range today, I'm going to be uh, seeing what the sh uh, shot pattern is gonna be on this 590A1 utilizing uh, some Federal double out buck, uh, nine shot double out buck uh, by Federal. And uh, these are two and three quarter inch shell. Uh, standard uh, pressure uh, shells and uh, I'm gonna be shooting it at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and 30 yards just to kind of get an idea of what my pattern is going to look like. All right, so uh, we're gonna start off at five yards, uh, take a look at the target in between each and make our way back to 30. All right, here we go, five yards. All right, let's take a look at that paper. All right, so here at five yards, no surprise, got a nice tight group right there. Uh, kind of blasted this paper a little, so it's it's difficult to really see uh, where the pellets went. Uh, but you can see, you know, you're looking at, you know, two inches or so, you know, uh, hard to get an exact, num exact number on that, but uh, very tight group nonetheless. So, uh, very effective hits on target, all nine pellets uh, would make contact, all right? So uh, I'm gonna reface this and take it back to the 10. All right, here we are at 10 yards. See how we do with that uh, nine shot double out buck. All right, let's take a look. All right, so here's our uh, 10 yard group. We can see this uh, shot pattern a little bit uh, better here. Um, uh, right here, that's just the wad. So uh, just, uh, you can forget about that. All right, so uh, from 10 yards, we can see our shot pattern a, a little bit better here. This big hole there, that's the wad. Uh, so that has nothing to do with the actual rounds being fired at the threat uh, so much. But if you take a look here, uh, you can see the nine pellets. Still nice tight group. So we got this outlier over here, which is going to happen with the shotgun. It's something we're going to, you're going to want to take into consideration as well. All right, but hold this up. We got a, uh, a group size of uh, about three inches. All right, and I'm including, including that outlier there. About a three inch group there uh, from 10 yards. Um, still nice tight group, very effective. We're going to push it back to 15, see how it looks. All right, here we are, 15 yards, federal, nine shot, double out buck. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are at 15 yards. Uh, you can see a pretty decent sized group here, but again, we got that little outlier there, um, kind of really opening that group up for us. As we get further back, I'm gonna start uh, firing multiple rounds uh, just to kind of see um, how, how that's gonna look 
as we get further out because you always have some of those rounds that are a little bit unpredictable and you're gonna have to take that into consideration when you're using a uh, shotgun uh, for self-defense purposes. So if I go ahead and measure this group out, we're looking at about a, just under eight inches. All right, so almost eight inch group there at 15 yards. Uh, still uh, very effective uh, hits on our threat and uh, definitely a safe distance to utilize in that federal double out buck shot in. So let's push it back even further out to 20 yards and see how the next group looks. All right, here we are at 25 rounds. I'm gonna be firing three rounds just to get a better idea of how um, these group patterns are gonna look because you might get lucky with one as far as the spread goes. And then as you, you know, a uh, few more rounds, uh, you might see it open up a little bit more than uh, what you're predicting. So I'm gonna fire uh, three, sh uh, three rounds of nine shot double up buck from 20 yards and we'll go take a look and see how that pattern's uh, looking on paper. Let's go take a look, see how that pattern's looking. So overall, I'm pretty happy with uh, the pattern on this paper uh, from 20 yards. Now that's three three shells of nine shot double op buck. So we have 27 holes on that paper right there. So if we go ahead and measure the size of the uh, group based on the three shells, we're looking at, we're looking at about 12 inches. All right, not too bad. For the most part, everything's right here. Uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm guessing this one down here is probably from, from that kind of group right there. Uh, but either way, from 20 yards, I consider that some acceptable accuracy out of uh, a 12 gauge a shotgun using that nine shot double off buck. Uh, within a, a home for home defense purposes, uh, that would be a good pattern. So. Still keeping it for the most part, even on that eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Of course, we got that one low there, um, but we're gonna reface it and take it to 25 yards and see how it looks from there. All right, so here we are back at 25 yards, what a lot of people would consider uh, to be the maximum distance that they're comfortable using nine shot and double out buck in from a 12 gauge shotgun, whether it be a short barrel or a uh, 18.5, uh, which is the typical length for a home defense shotgun. Uh, we're gonna see how this does again. Uh, three shots on paper, and then we'll take a look and see how that overall group is looking. All right, so Here's our group from 25. Again, not terrible, but definitely starting to get uh, to the point where we're gonna have to think about rounds not impacting our intended target, all right? And uh, depending on where you live, that might not be safe to be utilizing that that uh, nine shot double out buck or, or something similar. Not to say you can't use a shotgun. Anything further or at a distance in which you'd be uncomfortable using that nine shot double out buck, you could always switch to a slug. All right, something to keep in mind, even a 22 caliber round is going to penetrate drywall. All right, so regardless of if you're running a uh, nine shot double out buck, nine millimeter, two, two, three, seven, six, two, if you miss your intended target, that round's potentially gonna keep going. Uh, and whether you're counting on it to hit a, dr a stud or your uh, the outside layering of your home, take into consideration you got windows and things like that. So uh, we're not just gonna bank on something catching that round, it's gonna keep going, so. I want to make sure when we're utilizing these uh, firearms in a self-defense situation, especially in the home that we're doing so safely. So uh, measuring this group right here, let's see, looking at about, about uh, 13, 14 inches that way. And if you measure here, we're looking at uh, yeah, about 14 or so. So we'll call it about 14 inch of spread uh, for the most part of groups up here. Uh, so it looks like uh, my shotgun hitting just slightly high. I'm kind of cutting this circle right in half with my front sight there. And then it's just going a smidge high. Um, so that's 25. I'm going to go ahead and reface it. We'll head back to 30 just to see how it's looking from there. 
Uh, so three rounds, 30 yards. Here we go. Let's go check it. All right, so here's our group of three from 30 yards. And if I uh, see if we got everything on here, we got, should have 27. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Maybe one was there before. But it looks like for the most part, they're all on uh, the paper there. But if we look at our spread, we are looking at Looking at about 12, uh, 13, 14 minutes. About 19 inches of, uh, of spread there from 30 yards. Which isn't terrible, but uh, at 30 yards, some of your uh, pellets are not going to be hitting their intended target. So uh, if it were me, I, I would be uh, most likely switching to slugs at that point. So typically the way I run my shotgun for a home defense situation is uh, I like running a side saddle. Pretty much what you got on you is what you got. Uh, if you're going to carry uh, some sort of bandolier or something like that, that's fine. But for the most part, you got what's in the tube and then what's on the side. All right, so I set mine up to where this one, this holds uh, four shells in this particular side saddle. And I'll run uh, two rounds of buckshot up front and then two slugs in the rear. And that way I always know if I go to the rounds closest to me, I can do a, a slug select or a slug changeover and uh, send a, a slug down range if needed. So there you have it. My, uh, my personal opinion is that 12 gauge shotguns are still very viable weapons to use for home defense or self-defense in general. Um, with that being said, you need to know its capabilities and limitations. So whatever ammunition you're going to use with your shotgun, make sure you take it out to the range and get some rounds on paper so that you know what the limitations of those rounds are. Uh, it's always great to have some slugs on board if you do need to switch over to when you need that extra amount of accuracy, whether you're shooting further distance or whatever that case may be. It's always good to have options. And uh, friends don't let friends use birdshot for self-defense. So regardless of what you saw on Reddit or wherever on the internet, a birdshot is not going to do nothing uh, for home defense. So don't even consider that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them down uh, below. And uh, thanks for watching.